So I asked on Twitter and Facebook if you wanted me to kind of do little review videos every now and then and a bunch of you said yes. So I'm here today with my review of the Revlon Matte Balms and I am going to try and keep this kind of short and sweet and to the point but basically what are the Revlon Matte Balms? They're kind of a chubby stick form pencil that is a matte formula and I think Revlon are fantastic at kind of doing matte lip products in general, they're some of my favourites and I'll talk you through all the shades I've got right here. So the first one I've got is called um, Mischievous and it's just this kind of slightly peachy bright peach colour. Then this one right here is called um, Striking and it's this kind of red shade. Then I've got a kind of the nude shade which is called Complex, which is just a kind of nude your lips but better Nigella Lawson type of colour. Um, and then the uh, next one is the one I'm wearing right now actually and this is called Audacious, which is just a kind of bright corally shade and then the pink one which is my personal favorite which is elusive so they're all the colors swatched right there and you can see in terms of the formulas that they are quite a um kind of smooth matte texture but they do because they're matte kind of accentuate like the kind of um, pores in your hand and the lines and that kind of thing and that is what they do on the lips as well because unless you've got very very perfect lips that kind of don't have any dryness to them at all they will show the lines in your lips and kind of wear in that way but I have very very dry lips so most lip products tend to do that on me so I can't hold the, against these. In terms of price they are around £7. I will put the exact price here but they kind of vary because sometimes they're on offer and that kind of thing but I believe they're around £7 possibly £8 um, and they are available in Boots and Superdrug. Now in terms of the kind of application of these, like I said, they come in a kind of chubby stick form. The packaging's really nice because the packaging's kind of slightly matte as well versus the original packaging of the um, balms that Revlon do. You get kind of a decent amount of product. They're kind of like a twist up. And the, say, the shade selection that they brought out is really nice and really appropriate for kind of spring, summer, and it'll be interesting to see what kind of types of shades they bring out during the winter months as well. So kind of slightly deeper shades and the main thing I think about these is that they don't feel like a drugstore brand but I feel like Revlon is a higher end drugstore brand anyway and therefore I've always got higher expectations when I'm using something from Revlon versus using something from like collection because I feel like they are a higher end brand and they have got kind of higher quality products that's why they're kind of a little bit more expensive as well. I really really like these. I think I've got the kind of shades that I want here but possibly um, that I would pick up another couple of shades. I think they do kind of like a deeper red one that I might pick up as well, but I've got five here that I really, really like and are really appropriate. The only thing is, like I said, you have to really scrub your lips and make sure they're super moisturized before you're applying them because they can um, dry your lips out because they're matte obviously and they kind of sit in those little fine lines. They wear nicely, they don't wear in that kind of weird way and they don't feel too dry on your lips, they kind of just feel comfortable to wear. The one I'm wearing right now, um, I put on and then I kind of sheared it out a little bit because it was quite kind of neon colour and I wanted something a little bit more understated. But I really, really like these and I think they are definitely like a kind of 9 out of 10 product. They're really, really lovely. So let me know your favourites in terms of these. Actually, I think I have got a bright pink one of these as well. Um, can't remember what that's called but I will try and find that one for you um, and put the name of it in the down bar as well because these are all the ones that I found in my stash but I might have the deeper pink one in my handbag so yeah I'll try and mention that but I'll put all the relevant info down below where you can buy them prices and that kind of thing and let me know if you've tried them and let me know in the US if you've got any other shades of these that you think I might like so I can keep my eye out, my eye out for those as well but I hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any other kind of product ranges or products you want me to do kind of a little mini review video like this then let me know and I will see you in my next video